how can you split a vector layer up into lots of separate files based on one of the columns in the attribute table? Well, this is how you do it. And in this case, I've got some roads for Great Britain and I'm only showing motorways. And if I look at the attribute table, we can see there's a column called road classification number and that contains the name of the road. So M90 is a motorway and so is the M61. So all these are motorways. And I want to create a separate file, a single layer for each motorway. So I will open up the processing toolbox and I'll search for split. I've used it recently, so it's listed here. And I, all I need to do to activate this is double click split vector layer. I'm going to split GP roads. I'm going to use road classification number as a unique ID field. The output file format, you'll see you can choose what you like. I'm choosing geo package. And then I choose somewhere to save it to. So I'm going to save it to a directory. I'll put it in my motorways folder that I already created. I'll hit select folder. And when I hit run, what you'll see scrolling across the screen is this process working to create individual files. And notice that I've got the box text which says add field prefix to file names. Um, that means the name road classification number will be added to the file name. I don't want that now, so I'll untick it and hit run. And this is working very quickly on my computer. And then once the results are there, I'll just show you the folder. Here's a folder with all the individual files. Let me close the processing window and let's add in one of the motorways. So let's take the M6 and the M6 tool and drag them in. And we see them there. And let's add in another motorway, which is quite long, the M1. There we go. So now instead of having everything in one layer, we have individual files for each different motorway. And we did that by using split vector layer.